Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or website for another card video. Today I'm sharing a Halloween card featuring Pink and Main's Witch Brew Stamps and Dies and the Not Too Spooky Paper Pad along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my website as well. Here's a quick look at the Witch Brew Stamp Set. I love this stamp set because almost all the images are solid images, perfect for stamping silhouettes and ink blending backgrounds. Here's the Not Too Spooky paper pad. It has a great mix of colors and patterns for Halloween, but it can be used throughout the year as well. So I'm getting started by laying a four and a quarter inch by five and a half inch top fold card base into my Misty. I created a template using the coordinating dies from the Witch Brew stamp set and dies. To create the template, I used a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock, positioned my die cut and ran it through my die cut machine. I found using a template for this card makes positioning the stamp and die cutting much easier. I center the template on my card base and use an L square to make sure it's straight. Now I'm ready to position the stamp and lift it with the lid of the Misty. So once I have the stamp positioned, I'm ready to go ahead and do my stamping right after I'm done ink blending. I do keep the template handy for this next step. So I wanted to add some color to the moon before I stamp it and by doing the ink blending first I don't have to worry about my stamped image smearing. So I'm using a mini ink blending tool along with two shades of yellow ink and I start adding a light layer of ink and I'm start starting the ink below where it's going to be seen. That way I won't, if I have any blotchy spots or anything you won't be able to see those. And then I just start laying that ink down and moving upwards to where I know my moon will be stamped. And I'm trying to be careful not to go too far out on the paper because I don't want to see the ink out past my pattern paper when I lay it down. So um, if you wanted to, you could just add like pencil marks to mark the area, but I just went for it. So I'm using Memento ink in the color Tuxedo Black to stamp my image. And I stamped it three times just to make sure it was crisp and dark. And now this is where my template comes in very handy. I cut my pattern paper to the same size as my template. I lay the template on top of the pattern paper. I nestle the die into the template and run it through my die cut machine. Now everything lines up perfectly. I've added 3D mounting foam to the back of the pattern paper and then align it over the stamped image and press down firmly. So at this point, you could add a sentiment and a few sequins and call it a day, but I have some cloud, little tiny cloud um, die cuts that I've been wanting to use. So I thought they would be really cute with the bats from the coordinating die set. So I'm going to die cut those bats using black cardstock. And then I'm going to arrange the clouds and the bats around my stamped image and use 3D mounting foam to adhere them to the card. Now I'm ready to stamp my sentiment and I'm using this sentiment if the broom fits from the Witch Brew stamp set using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm going to trim it with my paper trimmer and then I'm going to add some fun little tails to these using pinking shears. I've had these for years. I purchased them to do a recipe book kit and I I thought you know I really need to be using these more often and this is a great way to use them. So I'm using Couture Creations foam strips just to add the sentiments. And then I'm going to add a few of those extra die cut bats around the sentiments and the stamped image. And then I lay down pink and main sequins. And then that's it. We're all done. These cards are really fast, but they're so cute. So I do believe that is a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired to create something amazing today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. And be sure to subscribe to my website. As always, know how much I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.